sure that this time it's on Tesseracts. Tesseracts. Such a weird, weird, wonderful word. Well, Tesseracts, what are they? Oh, these are things which you can transport stuff through time space continuum. I could make another world, pump energy into it, and uh, using an energy tesseract, and then energy will come out of here, use um, from through the, that dimension. If you've got a anchor over there, of course. So, how the hell do you make this thing work? First of all, you need your engines. So I'm just going to make a an electric and farm engine. So I just need solar panels, a wire. Oh yeah, yeah, and it also it does blue electricity, not this. <laughs> I need cable. That was what I meant. So yeah, I'm gonna make a little farm of this. One sec. Just a five by five. With five volt shoulder arrays, that would totally be just about enough, maybe. <laughs> For me, it's never enough. Never. I'm just gonna place these down, because remember, the orange bit is where the output is. Always has been, always will be, hopefully. But hey, Doctor Who's on into it in a half an hour. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna place my solar panels. So now, and then ne next I'm going to make my... Pipe. Entire I got it wrong every single time. Well done me. I am so damn stupid sometimes. <laughs> right, so we're going to fo first focus on the energy tesseract, if you haven't realized. So first, what we need first is the blue electricity power. One, two, so let me just get my Omni wrench, which is an amazing tool, by the way, because it affects every single type of thing which needs a wrench, which is pretty damn awesome. Anyway, who doesn't want an Omni? Uh, thing that's called an Omni wrench, and if you say me, I am pro. I'm I'm going to call lies, because Omni means every something. <laughs> I've got that wrong, haven't I? Yes, I have. And now we're going to place the energy test right in the center. And I'm going to place even more engines, just because I can. Because <laughs> we want the... I'm possibly going to carry on using this Tesseract after this video for other things. That sounds weird. Very weird. Like me. La, 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 la. Oh, I forgot to wrench these up. I'll do a tutorial on the Omni wrench soon, also, by the way. Don't worry. I'm going to tutorials on a lot of Feed the Beast stuff, because Feed the Beast, I know everyone's going into. After Yogg's cast uh, started doing it, and Direwolf started doing it. So I'm going to start the engines. These engines won't explode because they're electric engines. And electric engines have a really low, p low chance of exploding. Like, so low that it's not accounted for by most people. If not ev every single person. Right, now we see now we can see this energy building up, but it's going nowhere. Why? Because I haven't actually activated the Tesseract. What we want to do first is make a stream, that's what I call this, but I, I would guess you could call it a section. I'm going to call this Skynet, okay? And we're going to give this a number between 1 and I think and 999, so I'm going to put this on stream 1, and if we press the add button, it saves this frequency onto this list. So now, the energy will, if we press 1, and we press yes, it will start outputting power into that. That's a lot of power in there. 
Now, if we go to configuration, we can change it. So it sends stuff out, only sends stuff, only receives, or it does both. We're going to do send only, and we're going to do it so anyone can use this. Now, if I want to now go for like, hmm, I want to make a quarry because I am bored like sheep, and I'm going to use some landmarks to make it huge if these work. Hopefully they'll work. They never work for me. First time anyway. So let's go over to here and let's go forward to here. Okay, so now I want to place my quarry down. It's going to be like this, no, like this default because of it, that. And now I want to energize it using the tesseract. What you do is you place a tesseract next to it, right click it, and you put in the frequency. And all of a sudden, you're getting energy from your tesseract. See how awesome that is. Second thing, you might now it's going to be the item tesseract because, heck, this quarry is going to start mining stuff soon, and we're going to want to teleport the items from here to elsewhere. So we're going to put the item tesseract here. We're going to place some pipes coming out of the quarry. So we should use golden transfer pipes. And I'm going to again make another thing. I'm going to this time call it land net and set frequency of 1. Yes. Now I'm going to put this as send only. You don't need to set, put it as send only. It's default send receive. So anything can happen at all. Now I'm going to place my chest farm. My, my huge I keep calling it a chest farm now. So I'm going to place these down. Because I want these to be the, one, the things that fill up. And I place my item tesseract here and a few chests going alongside it I mean a few, a few um, blocks going, pipes going alongside it now I set the frequency to 1 oh yeah I forgot to do one thing you go into here when you do a land net and you set the frequency you always do the safe frequency always it's, 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 it's law if you don't do that then Nothing will work, put it that way. Hmm. Okay, good, it works. And now we come over here and we do set frequency and we do receive only. Okay. So this is land net. And this is also land net. This is send only. This is receive only. So we start getting items. See? We're starting to get items in these chests now. Which is pretty awesome. Now say for example we hit something that we want to use a uh, pump for. For example I want to pump up this water. And I want to transport the liquid over overseas to somewhere else instead of and so instead of having to use tons upon tons of pipes what I can do first is place my use my liquid transposer now so if I place my liquid transposer up here and have a pipe you don't I don't think you need a gap between them but I just prefer to do it because it looks prettier <laughs> now I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do call this water net set frequency one Save it, okay, so this is now going to be send only. Now if we place our energy tesseract next to this, that one, yes. This will now start extracting water and send it to water net. Now if we get ourselves a tank, I'm going to make a huge tank now. <sighs> I'm going to make myself a huge tank using, using uh, red rail railcraft stuff so this is hopefully this is gonna work this doesn't always work for me um I think my mum's gonna stand to tell me that's dinner but oh well I'm gonna try to ignore it so I'm just gonna make this tank I'll also make another tutorial using this and other liquids. There's tons of stuff to make tutorials in this in comparison to tech it, so I like tech it and everything, but... Also, another thing which is clever about this actually before I go into the tutorial, look! 
it doesn't form when you go when you're inside, but when you're outside, it forms a tank. Holy sheep! Now we place our liquid tesseract here on top, set it to water net, and <laughs> I'm just going to place this over here so I can I can show you that it's actually. Right, so I can show you. So we're going to put this on water net, put this as receive only, and hit the tick. Now look, it's actually filling up with water. See? All the water that you're pumping in from here, it's all of it's going to go over there. So any liquid you can do, is you can pump it over here. So anyway, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. It's me, only 3 to one signing out. Peace out, guys. Boop.